good, it is on. Um, so today we're making a white chocolate and blackberry and blueberry trifle. And the origin of trifle is England. And typically it was done with fortified wine and then some creams. And the cake was moistened with the fortified wine and then it had fresh fruit. That is not the kind of trifle that we're making today. Extraordinary Desserts is known for its cakes. And so we're basically doing a deconstructed cake in a trifle style bowl and calling it a trifle because it has those same elements of cake, cream, and fruit. So um, there's going to be five elements, uh, five different recipes that you need to put this together. And one of the things we tried to do when we wrote the recipe was to let you know that you could prepare a lot of this ahead of time so that if you're entertaining, it's not, it doesn't all need to be done in the day that you are making it. So white chocolate mousse is one of the most important ingredients and that you can make like two or three days ahead of time and keep it. And um, the ricotta pound cake, you can make this two or three days ahead of time if you want. You can make it a week ahead of time, stick it in the freezer. You can buy a pound cake at your local grocery store and I'm not gonna say anything about it. It'll, it'll work, you can put it together. Um, and then you're gonna have caramelized slivered um, almonds and you can make those either the same day or the day before because you want them to be crispy. You want them to be really brown and caramelized so that they add this textural and flavor profile because the white chocolate is sweet, the blueberries are a little sweet, and so this kind of nutty, caramely, salty, uh, slivered almond is really going to add an element of flavor to offset that sweetness. The whipped cream you need to make the moment that you're putting this together because it can get kind of soft and you won't be able to get it to set up. And ideally, once we assemble this, we're gonna put it in the refrigerator for eight hours before you serve it to your guests or overnight is even better. Um, and the last part is the uh, blackberry miroir, which is basically blackberry sugar and gelatin. And it makes a really lovely, fresh tasting layer to just enhance the fruit and the berries. So, to get started, what I like to do with my white chocolate mousse is I like to divide it into three equal portions. And that's so I don't use too much on the bottom and then I don't have enough at the end. So you put them in disposable pastry bags, which I think are a great thing to have. You don't have to wash and you can do this kind of preparation ahead of time. Then you just cut each one and they're ready to go for each of your layers. So our first layer is gonna be the white chocolate mousse on the bottom. And it's real important when you are piping this out to press down and be as even as possible because it just creates a perfect layer for you rather than scooping it with a spoon and then you have to go back and, and play around with a spatula. And when you come to the sides, it's great for you to seal the side edge so you note that as a layer once this is complete. So mine is not a perfect layer. So yours probably won't be either. And you just have a, a even sp a uneven spatula like this or some kind of a spoon or a disc to create that perfect even layer for you so you can go to the next step of this, which is gonna be the cake. And then you don't need the whole cake so basically the recipe creates this one eight inch and then you can take it and cut and put, you could, you could cube these if you feel like you want a cube cake, but I don't think you wanna waste your time doing that. So you can just sort of pull the cake apart and layer it in and then flatten it out so it creates a layer. And then we're gonna put half of the caramelized almonds from the recipe. We put that on this first layer. And again, you can pat these in so everything starts to become very even. And then we're gonna put more of the white chocolate mousse for the second layer. And you again, you press down so that this marries really well with the 
cake and the nuts. And then when you scoop it the next day, everything stays relatively together. It's not loose. And then once you have this layer in, you're ready to add in the miroir. So you're going to use about half of the amount that we made. So we create a really nice layer in here. And then you just swivel it around so that you cover all the white chocolate. And then you create a really nice layer that's going to set up in the refrigerator. And then a few hours later, you pull it out of the refrigerator and your set gel is in there. And at this point, we're going to put the whipped cream. And then we have the blackberries that I've cut in half, and those are going to go around the edge. And so you can see the trifle size that you're having. You can make this recipe work for small if this is a cocktail party that you're having and you want guests to not have to have something on a plate, something they can walk around with, or you could make it in a wine glass for dinner service or brunch and then if it's family and you prefer this family style you can use a large glass bowl of your choice the idea is that they should be clear so that you can see the product inside and if you're not a fan of blackberries and blueberries you can certainly use strawberries raspberries you can make your miroir with a raspberry fruit instead of the blackberry fruit um, be creative, as I, I think. You have uh, in this recipe, you've got the white chocolate and the nuts and the pound cake, and that's pretty much the most important thing you'll want to have. And then you can do your own thing. And then I have blueberries that go in the center with more of the blackberries. So this is our only layer of fresh fruit. You want to be pretty generous with the berries so that you get that fresh taste as you serve this and you dig through the layers. And then the next layer is going to be more cake. This would also be good with a store-bought cake that had streusel on it because that texture and flavor would be perfect for this. The leftover cake, you can freeze it and you can use it the next time. It'll keep just fine, wrapped really well in your freezer. And then I just again press it so that I create an even layer. 
and then I put more of the nuts on it. And then I have one more layer of the white chocolate mousse, which I've portioned out so I will, I know that I have enough and I don't have to worry that I, I'm not going to know what to do if I only have half the amount and then I have to put my miroir on and I, I don't have an even layer. And again, I'm recommending that you press down so that everything sticks together so when you're serving it, it's a, a more beautiful presentation. And then the last part is the last of our blackberry miroir. If you make this the day before, then you just heat it up in the microwave for about 20 seconds and whisk it till it's smooth. And so we're going for this kind of a look, but our roses evaporated somewhere. So we're, we're just going back in the garden and grabbing some stock. I mean, you be your own artist and create what you like. Um, I found some hydrangea. It wasn't sprayed. And then I kind of like to take up the whole bowl, not as an even, but just bits and pieces. Um, there were some orchids. Uh, I have a pansy. I mean, use really whatever you like. And I, I suggest creating some height because it is kind of a broad base that we're working with. And sometimes with them falling over, I, I like that as well. And then if I really am just not happy with what's going on, I'm just going to steal a rose from over here. And then uh, for Extraordinary Desserts, our key look is uh, gold leaf along with the flowers. So you can just take a little bit of the gel and just tap on a flower in a tiny, tiny area. And then the, the gold leaf I'm using is edible. You don't have to eat these flowers, so you could use artist level gold, which is not edible, and it's a quarter of the price. Um, and then I think it's just kind of nice to put it everywhere so it sort of glistens and glitters as you know your guests arrive, and it just adds that element. little elegance and a little surprise and like you really thought about going the extra mile. So that's it. That's trifle and I hope you've tasted it and there's plenty more if you need another one. Thank you.